In this video, we're going to talk about a second strategy that we can use when adding decimals. This might be a strategy that you're familiar with, it might be something that's new to you, or it might be something that you maybe think you've seen before, but is a little bit different. Just with any operation, we can, we can add decimals in a variety of ways. There's a lot of different strategies out there. So it's more so about finding out which strategy you understand the most. Now, just as with any of these videos, you have the opportunity to pause, rewind, and rewatch the video, the video at any time. Don't forget to take really good notes and jot down some questions along the way so that we can have some discussions in class. Let's go ahead and take a look at strategy number two. We're going to use the jump strategy. We're going to be jumping numbers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with one of my numbers. And in this case, I'm going to start with the number 163.45 because it's just the bigger number. And I'm going to kind of make myself a number line. So I'm going to start at 163.45. And the goal is I want to be jumping and I want to jump some numbers that are easy for me to calculate. So I don't want to pick hard numbers. I want to pick friendly numbers, numbers that are in the tens, numbers that are in the twenties, numbers that may be in the hundreds, but in this case, we don't need to go up that high. So I want to jump 23.1 places from 163. So I'm going to start and I'm just going to jump 10. 10 whole numbers. Well, what's 163.45 plus 10? It's 173.45. Think about if you're adding $10. If you have $163.45 and somebody gives you $10, how much do you have? Well, you have $173.45. Now, I'm not quite at 23 because remember, the point is to get to 23.1. I only added 10. So from there, I'm going to add 10 more. Now I'm at 183.45. So now I've added 10 and 10, so that makes 20. So how much is left over? So I've, I'm going to write it up here. I have 23.1. I've done 10 and 10. So I need 3.1 more places. Now remember, it's not three places, it's 3.1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually jump three. So 183.45 plus three is now 186.45. And then I still have 0.1 to jump. And remember, 0.1, that's in the tenths place. So if, again, you're thinking about money, you're adding 10 cents. Which one of these numbers is in the tenths place? The four. The four is in the tenths place. So you're going to be adding a one, a point one, to that point four. And 186.45 plus point one leaves me with 186.55. And so that is the final answer to 163.45 plus 23.1. That is the jumping strategy.